y'all let me know. This is actually, this is actually dedicated to anybody in my poetry community, male, female, non-binary, who I might have offended in some way. Um, I embrace my community and I totally call myself being about love. So I wanna, it's called Knives. If I don't do this like this right here, right now, I probably never will. And honestly, it would kill me later. And you wouldn't feel me later. But if we're really family, then we'll see later the weight of this stone in my stomach is stupid. Truth is, I am triggered. I think it was an accumulation of the hard consonants in your accent, or perhaps the hot grits boiling beneath the sarcasm of that killer clown killer smile which opened this old world wound. Specifically, you said some shit about some shit that I did and didn't address me directly before broadcasting in classic burn it all fashion until now that's been one of your most endearing qualities. <laughs> how your attitude is indica and your anger angel dust. Guns are sexy until they're aimed at us. At first, I felt at home, held safe in the embrace of our shared frustration with people slacking on the passion until your sniper-like application of the word fuck fish hooked my heart, a bit like waking up to an earthquake. Catapulting us over the rainbow and into the mud, I felt the thud before it landed. And as much as it stung, I understand it. Sister, brother, mother, father, fam, there is safety in numbers. For the war-torn women in my life, the ones who birth burped and baptized me in fire, colloquial oracles gifted in the way of a profane poetry, loud is a force multiplier. Pleasantries, though appreciated, often sour the syrup, diluting our emotional ever clear. Ancient beings we may be who serve even on the same bloody battlefield, soldiers or nurses, the way we communicate trauma like trucks with no brakes, better the cold splash of bright light, right? Than the capture and sale of a tongue and lungs taught to run. This comes from just a man. A black and brown, down as human being, broken boy, toy down, bound to service, 40 something, I'm on my fifth revision. And the only common thread's been silence. As close as I've always walked, never have the truth and I sat and talked, hollered, yelled, yeah, even a genuine roundabout public apology, but really we're just acquaintances, kindred victims of blatant disrespect in our reflections. Love cut with fear is a hot dose, a heretic hand held over my mouth, gagging me with values like a Q-tip too deep. Who still holds hell close, holds heaven back? When holding yourself accountable to yourself only, holding your breath becomes easy. It was quiet in the Christmas. I feel you, dearest butterfly bitch. <laughs> I feel now like I'll always feel you, having felt what it feels like to feel like, what the fuck, trust, I'm sorry. I forgive you. I know it's hard to stay sharp, just please. Watch where you're waving those knives. And I got one more short one, but I, I'd like to take the opportunity to invite everybody to um, mic drop. This yes. is an open mic that uh, me and the homie G Speed actually we um, we host in Santa Cruz. It happens at the 418 Project every last. Sunday, we're doing a New Year's thing, and then we'll get back to normal coming in January. But um, 
Oh. Yo, you're totally invited. It's it's a beautiful thing. It really is. Just Google Mic Drop Santa Cruz. You'll find all of the things, the Facebook and the Instagrams and the YouTube. We got a YouTube channel. What, with, what 